Hello lads, welcome back to the channel, it's our lads for set play gaming and we've got the Wayne Rooney manager career mode with Middlesbrough. Today's episode I'd like to give a big big shout out to uh, Christopher Breen, uh, thank you so much for your support on the channel, a happy belated birthday to him, he turned 18 last week and I recently saw his Instagram photo, he had a fantastic cake, uh, go over ahead to his Instagram and check him out. Wish him a happy birthday from me. I'm trying to build a community here, and obviously we do care about our viewers. So thank you so much, and I hope we win today uh, as we play Swansea. Before we get to that, we have the summer transfer window. And as you can see, we're currently negotiating with uh, Carlo Ancelotti. You know, guys, I've been so hot on bringing Yannick Balassi to try and replicate um, what's happened in real life. Uh, Neil Warnock brought Balassi to uh, Middlesbrough on loan. Uh, they couldn't obviously agree alone but we did manage to get them to agree uh, under four million contract which again it's still kind of high for someone that's 31 he's not going to be any better than what he already is but he's a fantastic player as you can see 75 rated um, and we agreed um, like I said a, a, a transfer fee in principle with Ancelotti uh, but here is where the stumbling block happens is we came up with probably the most lucrative package we could offer him um, as a Middlesbrough player and keep in mind that um, it would make him the highest paid player at Middlesbrough um, with him being the best player um, so we offered him what, what we thought would be a lucrative deal um, and you can see from uh, the transfers um, there's a lot of money on the table there um, 120,000 as a sign on and 35 grand would make him the highest paid player at the club but last he's nodding his head, he said, okay, yeah, that sounds okay. You know, it sounds like he's he's keen for it. But then the agent comes back and says they basically want 240000 which is double the sign-on fee. Um, the wage, I think, I'd be okay paying, but they want half a million for 10 goals scored. And at this point, I basically pulled out of the negotiations. It was just way too much money. Um, you know, it it's kind of bittersweet in the sense that um, almost bitter sour in the fact that you know we'd, we'd already agreed nearly 4 million for someone that's 31 so our attention turned to Kyle Edwards and this was um, recommended by Tom um, West Brom, Slav and Bilic a little bit more easy going and they only want 2.2 million for somebody that's so young I think that's a bargain uh, you guys can let me know whether you think um, that's a good bit of business. Should I have got, uh, gone all in and just give Balassi what he wanted? I don't know. It seems a bit mercenary-like. But Kyle Edwards is now a Middlesbrough player. We're happy to have him at the club. And I want you guys to let me know what you think of the signing. Uh, how you think he's going to do. He's not quite 70 overall yet. Um, he's still got some growing to do. But I think that's a pretty good bargain myself. And it's somebody that's just longevity in mind. Um, so... Yeah, uh, he won't probably start against Swansea, but we'll see how we get on in our league match now. Uh, hopefully we win. So after the signing of Kyle Edwards, the press have focused on this um, major signing for us. And Rooney says that, you know, he'll definitely make a difference in the team. You guys can let me know in the comments what you think of the signing, where you think he's going to fit in, and uh, how you think he's going to do as well. Um... And this is obviously the presser before the Swansea game. I don't know, they played Swansea just recently in the Cup as well. So these guys are going to be anxious to get back at us. We're back at the Liberty Stadium. And uh, I don't really like playing the same team twice in the same week. Uh, it's always a bit of a bind. Uh, but the games have to be played. And, you know, obviously it's a bit unfortunate to be drawn against Swansea in the Cup when we're playing them in the, in the league the same, day, uh, same week. Uh, but we'll try and make a go of it, and I'm sure Swansea will be a lot harder to play this time round with league points up to grabs. And there's our lineup for today's uh, Borough team. Um, traditional 5-2-1-2. And we're doing this, obviously, when we play away from home to try and stay a bit more compact um, and offer, obviously, support to the goalkeeper as well. Hopefully we can still score some goals. I know that Tuba Akpom has been in good form. I'll obviously try and keep him like that as well. Try and get more goals for him. Just got to be careful because they're trying to suck that centre back out. That's well in. Great block on Routledge. 
opening 15 minutes Swansea have been a little bit over us here well read oh that's a poor pass from Savile though oh come on oh, Hall gets across quickly Routledge thought he was in for a split second and you see Hall just comes across from that left side and gets a toe on the end of it Routledge. trying to dink the ball through here's Ayu oh and a great block opening 20 minutes Swansea have definitely been more persistent here comes Routledge again into Ayu have to go back to Smith it's a poor pass and here's Johnson hopefully we can start an attack here weathered an early storm somewhat and try and get a foothold in the game Savile chips it into Asamba Lunga here's Akpam into the area can he get a cross in pulls it back oh and Woodman with a save Dykesdale Howson into Savile Tavernier Tavernier oh hasn't scored a long range yet had the power but just not the direction you see what he was trying to do wasn't a million miles away though we're now starting to get a foothold in the game hopefully we can uh, get that goal there's pressure coming from midfield here and they keep giving the ball away. Hopefully we can get a, a clear-cut chance. Akpam into Tavernier. Oh, he's played that in a Sambalunga. Oh, what a save. Point blank from Woodman. So close to opening the score in there. Five minutes to go till half-time. Tavernier. Go wide. Oh, and here's Akpam. Akpam, yes. Oh, <laughs> Well, that is horrendous. Oh, he's ballooned it over the bar. And look at Rooney, you can tell what he thinks. I had to put that in, he says. We've had a good chance to go ahead. You can't keep squandering these chances. We weathered that early 20 minute storm. And now we just need that opening. Savile carries it. And here's Johnson. Can he get the cross in? Oh, it's Mr. Striker. Oh, and Tavernier's there. The back post. He needed a goal. And the number seven for Borough loses the centre back. He's in the six yard box and he volleys that. Pass Woodman. Sure, the Swansea manager will be disappointed with the marking up there. That is half time. And I've got to say, considering how the game started, I was a little bit worried. But we held out our defence, which has been very good. It's been the talking point leading up to the game. We've done well to keep them out. Now we just need that insurance marker because, as we know, as we've seen before, a one goal lead is usually not enough. Into Ayu. Grimes. In comes Hall. And it's going to be a free kick. I thought he won the ball there. It is going to be Moy. Ooh. I think it was difficult for him to get that over the wall and then bring it right back down and that's what we saw he got the height on it but it was too close to goal if anything the free kick attempt Cullen gets by his man in slice Johnson great challenge Swansea putting on all the pressure now there's Smith the shot was comfortably saved by Bettinelli crossed it in oh and headed away good clearance and just about got it away Savile to Johnson into Asamba Longa 
Oh, and back to Johnson. This is a great break from Borough. Five minutes to go. Get the cross in. Taffany. Oh, and a good save from Woodman again. That should have been two. He had time to probably control it as well. Oh, well in. A 50-50 there. Cullen. Another good sliding challenge, but Swansea still have it. Crossed in. Cullen. Goes for the back post. Dyke still's going to get up and head that away. Here comes Smith. And now Moy. Pressure from Swansea to get the equaliser. Got to resist the urge of diving in. Here's Ayu. <coughs> Looking for that one killer pass. And headed away. It's Moy. Back to Cullen. Oh, and a good save. Bettinelli holds on. That is full time. Only 1 0. We just about squeaked that through. And um, I'm delighted with the clean sheet. Delighted with the players that played in the back line. They played so well today. And, um, you know, I think you guys just let me know in the comments what you think of the win. Obviously, uh, when we next get an opportunity to play 4 2 3 1, Edwards will play. But yeah, I'm absolutely delighted with that. Another clean sheet away from home. And uh, not an easy game. So before we leave you, just have a quick look now at the Championship standings. Bournemouth with three wins and three draws at top of the league. And we find ourselves in the playoff spot, which is fantastic for the opening six games. And uh, hopefully we can maintain this pace. Um, it would be a tremendous first season for Wayne Rooney if we can get into a playoff spot. Considering the board actually wants us to finish mid-table, that's the objective. We're well above that at the minute. And um, providing we keep putting in those kind of defensive performances, I don't see why not. Um, you guys can obviously let me know whether you think we should try and go for it. I don't see any reason why we can't. Um, Norwich with a slow start. And uh, Blackburn Rovers and Nottingham Forest in mid-table. But that's where you see Norwich and Brentford now are probably where we should be. And then as you can see, Barnsley, Huddersfield, Coventry um, and Rotherham all at the bottom of the standings. That's the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate your support. If you'd like to connect to me on any of the social media links, uh, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, the advantage of seeing those is that you get to see the um, career modes that I do offline, uh, which includes a Barrow YSL save. That's quite exciting uh, to check out. If you want to watch any more of my other videos as well, they're on the right-hand side. Feel free to continue to support me. I do appreciate it. This is our lad signing off for Set Play Gaming.